What's going on guys? My name is Jay and in this quick video I want to show you how you can add additional CSS to your WordPress theme very quickly. So I'm here in my dashboard. I'm gonna go to appearance and click on customize. So here you'll see a preview of your page and then you have normal options but at the bottom you will see something called additional CSS. Now this option came out with the version 4.7 and if you have an older version, this option will not be available for you. So I'm going to click here. And you can see a comment saying you can add your own CSS here. Click the help icon above to learn more. So you can click here. And there will, you know, a little bit of description. And you can click here to learn more. Okay. All right. So for now, I don't need this comment. So you can remove it. And now what I want to do is... You can see that my navigation is pretty ugly. So I want to add some CSS to that. I'm going to use this new option. All right. I'm going to go to inspect. I'm using Chrome. So I this this is what I use to take a look at my code. And you can see here that my navigation is using a tag nav. All right, maybe yours is using a div tag with a class of navigation or maybe a div tag with a class of main menu. Everything is a little bit different, okay? So take a look at your code and make sure you find your tag. So mine is nav, all right? I'm gonna close this right now. So I'm gonna use nav. And the first thing I want to do is change this white background color to something more darker. Maybe a background a uh, gray and you can see that we have a live preview which I love All right so you can change it and you will see the change right there okay all right and now I want my navigation to be kind of horizontal so I need to inline this list so it's like let's go nav li for list display inline block All right and that's it we have it right there just how I like it and now of course we need to add some space to those links so let's go to nav lia so display block let's make sure it's display block and let's add some padding to add some space 20 pixels. Awesome. We got some space right now. Let's change the color to white because that I don't like that blue right there. So a little bit of white. Awesome. Looking better already. And I don't like that that underline. I really don't like it. So text decoration. None. Awesome. I think this navigation is looking already better. So it's that simple. Let's add some maybe a hover effect to this. So let's add nav, hover. Maybe we can change the background to a black. And look at that. Okay, it's working. I want a smoother uh, so we can add some transition here. Transition maybe half of a second. Oop, what I did. Transition. There you go. All right. That's a lot better. So you can see right here on the bottom that we have three options. You have a desktop, we have tablet, and we have phone, which I love it. Right? So you know what? Let's create some code for the phone because when I go to the phone I want this uh, menu to go more vertical right so it's more user friendly for the phone users so let's go add media maybe a max width I don't know for 480 pixels I mean, you can put whatever you want here. And my navigation, I want to change it to block. And that's it. Let's go to the phone. 
And look at this. Look at that. We can center that text. Oops. All right, text align, center. And uh, that's what I want. Awesomeness. Now you can change to desktop. It's looking just how I want it. And then you go to a phone and it's looking like this. All right, so my navigation is done. And this is all I did right here with live preview. Now I just need to click on save and publish. Let's close this. Let's see how it looks. And that's it. Awesome. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.